Hey folks, playing some Team of Moon here in lockdown. Um, it's a deck I've been mucking around with for about a year or so, off and on, adding bits and taking stuff away. Um, <clears throat> this current version I'm running is leaning heavily on uh, Hex Trinker, and then backed up with other just really large creatures. Um, it's got the Thought Scour Hooting Mandrels package. You play Hooting Mandrels on turn two after fetching and, and casting Thought Scour. Um, yeah, four copies of Blood Moon and then three Huntmaster of the Fells uh, has been doing excellent work in the deck in, in, in testing so far. Um, sideboard is fairly standard, just really good answers to various things, Ancient Grudges, uh, Collector, Two Veil of Summer, and a mystic Mystical Dispute. I I've used to have Three Veil of Summer, but I've, I've switched it up and put a, a Mystical instead of a Third Veil just so that you can do things like counter Urza or Uro or whatever. Um, and in the last week we've added in Gigantha the Wellspring. Um, free 5-5, five, five, why not? You know, it's just the new way of the world now. We have to all get used to playing with companions, so may as well get on board. And, uh, yeah, so let's see how we go. Okay, won the die roll. And mm, this one's not amazing. We're going to keep it. Got this thing coming up now. I always <laughs> have the companion sitting there because I keep forgetting that I have it, um, which are very easily done. And just thinking out here, we, we need to plan for Blood Moon, so we, we want to plan to use the Vista to get a forest uh, or a island, more likely a forest, obviously, in this game. So if we want to bolt on turn one, play the foothills, hope that we don't need to crack it. Hmm... Yes, I'm just not going to crack. Okay, that's fine. And definitely prefer to hold up Mana Leak here. Um, if he casts a creature, we'll have three creature types in the graveyard by the time I'm ready to cast Tamagoyf. Ooh. Smallpox. Oh, the rack! Love it. So there's no point leaking this. Okay. I used to play 8-rack. Uh, Actually, if you have a look on my channel, you can see a bunch of 8-rack uh, shenanigans. Uh, I, think, I think it's about 18 months ago, so the meta's changed a bit, but the, the deck hasn't actually changed much. 8-rack hasn't changed much. Um, okay, I'm not going to crack my lands here. Hmm, maybe now I am. Yeah, so I feel like we can get the island. Not interested in the fact that these are also swamps. We won't be using that feature. All right, let's have a look. Hopefully we draw a land off this Thought Scour. But Mana Leak is substantially worse against 8-Rack uh, than, than it would be in a normal matchup. We don't have the land, so we can either... What can we do? Nothing. Just hold up Bolt, unfortunately. One of the things about this deck is the potential dis-synergy between Tarmogoyf and Hooting Mandrels, which um, I've actually found is much less than I thought it would be at first and quite easy to play around. Um, even now you can see if we had mandrels, you know, we could easily exile. We have three redundant cards in the yard for Tarmogoyf. Okay, so we have a target for the bolt. That's good. That's nice and straightforward. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. And at some stage, if I do a series of these, we'll talk about the land base. Uh, for a while I was r running a breeding pool. And I've discovered that it's actually really important not to do that 
you want all of your non-basic lands to be red. Um, oh, where's my stomping ground? Oh, can I... Have I lost... Oh, stomping ground's in my graveyard. It's been milled. <laughs> um, so that really stinks. I can't get a green... I can't get a green or red source... A green and red source. So what should we do? Yuck. Um... I want to kill the, the Bob, so I have to suck that up. That's really unlucky. <laughs> so normally it's Stomping Ground, untap into Tarmogoyf, and we're in great shape. Now we're desperate for a green source. Oh, you beauty. Mana Tithe. It's nothing worse than getting Mana Tithe. So we're in massive trouble. Oh, so lucky. And now he's just in massive trouble. And I like um, mooning over anything else, and that's pretty obvious why. So the game hopefully is over. He can draw two cards this turn, but God of Shrine's not going to help him. That's the thing I find in this current version of the game, is uh, or metagame. Blood Moon is still awesome. And... You know. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah, okay. Not too upset about that. Gee, that was a very nice draw. And an even better, look at that. Talk about luck. So we could go Tireless Tracker into Clue, or we could play two Goyfs. Um... Yeah, I think I want the value. He's a long way from killing me. We're not in dire straits. Desperate for a basic swamp now. Reveals mana tithe. Should probably try and keep track of what he's revealed. And Misty. Okay, so... Uh, I can get another clue. I won't be able to crack Misty. Uh, when I attack, I threaten to become a 5-4. So I feel like he has to let this through. Um, I'm not worried about Wrath effects, so we're just going to play out our army here. And this, this is really ideally how this deck runs. It's, you know, the opponent can see things like Misty Rainforest and uh, that kind of thing, uh, Thought Scour. He, he doesn't, when he sees green mana then and a Hex Drinker or something, he does not expect Blood Moon. Um, and so when it comes down, it's it's often, it's often back-breaking. Um, Black, white... I think it, I assume it's Rack. I mean, Raven's Crime indicates Rack. So Tireless Track is very, very strong. Scavenging Ooze is unbelievable. Um, so Veil vale stops Thought Seize. Um, it doesn't stop Smallpox, but it stops Fatal Push... Um, so if they go to Fatal Push my Hex Drinker, I'm going to draw a card and it won't work. It's just unfair. It's just completely unfair, this card, Veil of Summer. So I think I want both. I think I like Ooze. I love Blood Moon. I'm keeping that. What's bad? Leak was bad. Stubborn Denial... I mean, the, what's he got? What's he really running? Mana Tithe, Thought Seizes, things like that. So I don't really want any of those cards. The Oofy doesn't help. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Oof. Flame Slash is maybe not bad. Uh, he probably has Liliana, which could be Sinkhold. Braid is not great. 
the ancient grudges can destroy the rack. So maybe I should keep the grudge the abrades because I can kill Bob and the rack with them. Okay, so we're bringing in five, taking out all, but I'll keep one leak in. Okay, sixty. All right. Just check my video feed is working here. All good, levels wise. I think so. Okay. Um, it's been a while since I've streamed or recorded anything. Trying to keep the channel alive here. Um, yeah, we can keep this. Turn my thoughts ease is pretty bad. We have the fiery islet though to cash out if we keep drawing lands, so. Yeah, I mean, Inquisition or Thoughtseize were very highly likely because they run eight copies well, even Duress, wow. So we can't. I don't get you. Why people play Duress as though it's. Like, it is nowhere near as good as Inquisition or Thoughtseize, and people. Like, unless it's your ninth Thoughtseize, why is it in the deck? Mana Leak? Oh, he's obviously got an answer for the Hex Trinket. So that makes me think that we should not play Hex Trinket into removal. Instead, we should uh, play a land and pass the turn. Which land? Wooded foothills into basic forest. I agree. Mm. Mm hmm. Godless shrine. Into another duress. I may as well. I think I may as well. Otherwise, he's just going to take the veil of summer. Why didn't he take the veil of summer before? He can't take anything else. He can't even take the hex drinker. So, um, all right. So we'll just do this. Hopefully, don't draw anything duress can hit. That was very... Oh, that was foolish of him, though, because... He could have taken Vale of Summer the first time and then Mana Leak the second time. No legal targets. What can what can Duress do? A non-creature, non-land. Hello? Oh, no, hang on, no, it doesn't work. Yeah, 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 Jurassic was trying to target me. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Okay. All right, so now I have another Veil of Summer. I need double green to pull off this move. Now, it won't protect him from Path to Exile, but that's not too bad. A basic island wouldn't go astray here anyway. Yeah, I'm actually not very experienced with Veil of Summer yet. So a lot of this would just be intuitive for probably a lot of you guys watching. Yeah, I'm an idiot. He couldn't... Am I an idiot? Because the first US he could have taken the veil. Death mark. He doesn't know about this. Okay. I cannot pay one for mana tithe. So let's just trade down resources, which is exactly what you want. The eight rack game plan. Bolt, not useless. I don't want to cash in fiery because I need to get to four lands for the Huntmaster. What is that? Is that just for flagstones? I don't think that card's worth playing in his deck. It takes up the whole big dopey three slot. Now I could get mana tithed here again with Huntmaster, which would be really bad. I might even go on to lose the game. Ah, that's much better. <laughs> so should I play around mana tithe? with the tracker. 
And I think the answer is no, because I almost certainly win the game if he doesn't have Mana Tithe. Um, if he does have Mana Tithe, I'm still in very strong shape. So I think it's worth taking a gamble. Yeah. And... Um, let's just go Fiery Islet, untapped, oh, untapped obviously, because I probably won't need the red mana. Crucible, how did... Dark Bob, sure. Love him. So I think I do want to play around Mana Tithe here, right? Although he certainly hasn't got Mana Tithe. Like he just top decked Bob, and we know that last card isn't Mana Tithe. Okay. Now he has one card left. Um. Let's get a clue. Um, and rather than crack them, I think I am going to play out the Huntmaster because of um, because I don't I don't suspect Wrath. Well, do I? He's going to run Wrath, is he? Mm. Worth pausing to think. I'll still have the clues afterwards anyway. I've got three clues, so I'm so far ahead that I can just push this advantage, I think. Yeah. That's the thing about Tracker. It's just such an unfair card. Tireless Tracker. Unbelievable. All right, good match. Um, interesting one. I rolled a five. Two lander, thought scour, mana leak, keep. All right. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's fine. It's unlikely I'll want to lightning bolt anything, but just on the off chance. Okay. Mm hmm. Braiding the Astrolabe actually isn't isn't that crazy. I think Leak is better though. Wow. <laughs> sure. Well, I'm obviously fetching lands here no matter what, right? Um, do I want to mana leak this? I think the answer is no. He doesn't know how well prepared I came. Although he might have land destruction for my basics. Irony. So I think I like just holding up leak. Um, tempted to abrade as well, but I won't do it until the end of his turn. Ugh, so 
so annoying. I wish it didn't have that mode. Mine stone. No. No. Why? Why? Why should? Why should I let you have that? Ah. Fine. Yeah, that's just another pass, I think. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Fine. Like we've established I'm happy with that. Gee, I'm tempted to abrade the astrolabe here. I really am. Add one mana of any color. Um, having said that, if he draws another astrolabe, what else am I going to use my abrade for? That's the, that's the other question. I actually think I'm going to go for it here. This might be the first time anyone's ever bothered to destroy an astrolabe. Right. Tireless is available. Um... What am I expecting? Maybe Koth of the Hammer or some sort of Chandra if I tap out. Uh, if I play the Tracker and it gets killed by Chandra. If I play the Huntmaster, same thing. Both pretty bad outcomes. I think I can afford to just slow play here. Mm. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I think we can basically say remove me or I'm going to start flipping back and forth. Okay. Now you'd actually have an answer ready to go. <clears throat> it's okay. <laughs> uh, although he's not too bad, is he? He can get rid of him easily enough. I used to play a deck a bit like this, actually, once upon a time. Um... Denial. He only just found that land. I feel like he was constrained on land. So if he has another copy of Koth or something like that, the denial will probably work. Um, on the other hand, how bad is it to go Tracker? I think I'd rather play Tracker with Denial mana up. So on that basis, I'm going to pass. Blood Moon dead card. Not tapping out, and it's peering here in this time. Yeah, I used to play a deck just like this. And I think I am happy to trade if he wants to trade. Which means I should have done all this before uh, casting my stuff. A little sloppy. I'd 
Blood Moon versus Blood Moon. Oh, I can't quite stubborn denial it. Damn. All right, so liquid metal. Oh, no. Oh, how dare you? Activated abilities of my artifacts can't be activated. Okay. Yay! Gotcha! Okay. Scred red. Ooh! This turn plays itself, I think. I might steal this guy's deck. This looks really fun. I wonder with Astrolabe, though. Is he supposed to play Astrolabe? That is the sound of a Tarmogoyf dying. I'll go ahead and activate. Now that Bugalogs is gone. Let's draw that card. Ooh. I actually think we're going to lose this game. Depends if Tracker lives, I think, now. No Glorybringer here. No. Okay, draw another card. And I'm out of bolt range. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I don't think there's much I'm really worried about here in terms of, in terms of blowout risk. Um, you know, bonfire. One of those other cards. I mean, anger doesn't matter anymore. Time ago, it's a dead card anyway. So, how much risk am I really taking? He says with confidence. I'm threatening lethal as well next turn. 11 damage. Another land. Needs to be something cataclysmic. No, okay. Play another turn. I'm going to draw my card for free combat. Okay, yeah. Concede. Right. So there's some obvious sideboarding moves we need to make. Our BFF has to go. Braid, he could have... What else does that deck run? Whatever Khan goes and gets out of the sideboard could be like a worm coil engine or something, so I think maybe we'll keep that in. I mean, we have no choice anyway. In fact, we're going to be struggling to find playables. Ooze I'm fine with. Sinkhole I'm fine with. Two more cards. Um, should one ever consider bringing the companion into the main deck? Like Mystical, Mystical Dispute isn't actually useless. It's actually playable. That's a really crappy mana leak. Dragon's Claw is not necessary in the slightest. Veil. Veil's no good. It doesn't cycle unless... Yeah, no. Okay. Tuffy. I think I'm just going to bring this guy in as a bear. I think that's better than bringing in Giganta. 
as a because all he is is a five five for five. So like, yeah. All right. Once again, I will cast this card. I swear. Right. Uh, I think we can keep. This card should be actually quite useful. Mulligan will keep. I'll keep. He does a lot of things at sorcery speed, so I feel like I want to um, play my Hex Drinker as a 4 drop. Ideally, not crack this land. Astrolabe, I don't get... Why does he need it? <laughs> Could actually abrade the relic. I think that's what I want to do, actually. Steam vents, a braid, the relic. Stopping ground. That puts an artifact in the graveyard for Tarmogoyf. It's quite nice. What? So you're not running that liquid metal coating malarkey. So I could double bolt Khan. Um, how bad could this ever be, right? He needs to go and fetch the coating, cast it. So I don't have to kill him instantly. Now I could go Scions, I could go Hex Drinker as a. He's not a 4 4 yet, right? So I think it's Scions here. Red, blue. I feel like Lee can stop and are both good. I'm tempted to just put Hex Drinker in the in the bin actually because if I don't draw a land next turn, well, I probably am going to draw a land next turn. I don't really want to tap out from anywhere. I'd rather I'd rather fill my graveyard, get a cheap mandrels. Okay, that's what we'll do. Certain times when Hex is looks better than it really is. See, he has no ultimate. Okay. Yep. It's fine. I was going to do something similar, wasn't I? I think 
he played that pretty well. I am going to be ready to mandrels with leak. And I think that's what I should... No, I won't. I don't have enough. Sorry. Stubborn. I can mandrels with stubborn. Which is what I might have to settle for here. Not ideal. Like if it's Inferno Titan or something. Game's probably just over. Here we go, finally. Can't quite make a worm coil. Liquid metal. Okay. Um, I can't stop that from happening, so that's fine. Oh, I could have stubborn nailed that liquid metal. Stupid. Oh, that's a good job I didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, I need to understand how the game works, don't I? Before I start making videos. Um, I don't want to use him to activate again, so I think we do ye old double bolt. I didn't see any of that interaction. I don't know as much. I guess I would have stubborn the liquid metals, what would have happened, and then I would have been scredded. So the metal would be gone. The stubby D would be in the yard, so I, I would be in a much much happier place if I'd had a brain. Right. I've got leak and a weak version of stubborn available for whatever comes next. I think leak is very, very strong in this match. Mm -hmm. Is this always an artifact now? No, it's not anymore. Why does he run Astrolabe though? So I'm very tempted to play my companion. But I'm not going to. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> I have to get value out of League first. Oh, so. uh, well, I'm not going to stop that. Can't do all of this, so we may as well. So there's two schools of thought here, right? I could try to get make him safe, make him a 4-4, protected from instance. Or I could hold up Mana Leak. And I think I gotta hold up Mana Leak because you know Koth or something is just gonna be crippling. Whereas if he bolts, my god, yes, he leaks way better. Do I hold up blue mana? <sighs> I didn't think of that. I didn't, mm. Oh. Uh, right. Wait, well, you can't answer everything. So 
So maybe that was wrong, because how bad would Koth really have been? Because the Hexstrength would have killed Koth. Right, let's go for it. Companion time! Let's see if he makes the difference between winning and losing. He does, well, he sort of does. Not really. So he had an answer. Oh man, so I should have got the Hex Drinker up. Although he would have responded. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe that wouldn't have worked. Oh, that's a big goif. So you squared that. Can't possibly have any dispute with that. From a six seven down to a puppy. Ah, but it's better to scour him or me. Yeah, me. Yes, 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 a three four is useful. Bolt and dispute up. <sighs> I think it catches it. Just. <sighs> Conceded and lost connection. Okay. Gigantha. Uh, ooh, on the draw. Can't get a shock land, but I could get a island and scour. How happy will I be? Not very. Just a bit better. All right. Mm. I don't really want to bolt that. Ah, Blood Moon's no good here. Ugh. Maybe I should just bolt it. Thing is, if he has, um, well, he's got that um, elf knight five four thing. I'd rather double bolt that. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, that could matter.
so. Why get greedy? Goyf would have been good at here as well, except that I'd rather make use of my mana. Um, he's unlikely to have Dismember and stuff like that, so... The token is also a meaningful blocker as things stand. Mm-hmm. Why is that a 5 4? Oh, that's why. Okay, he cast a spell, so I'm not transforming. Nice one, respect. Okay, it's an obvious trick here. I'm probably just dead. Vines does it. Yeah. Nice top deck. Okay. What can we do here? Moon is useless. Okay, moon is gone. Um. Flame slash, yes, yes, yes. Gimme, 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 gimme. Um, dispute is playable. Sinkhole is good. Um, ooze is playable. Well, this might be the deck. Yep. I think the ooze is slightly better than the tracker. I think it is okay to scour up front. He has more creatures than me, so I feel like scouring him. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I can also bolt. Yeah, so I think it's just... Oh! 
How's this guy work again? Whenever another creature you control enters or dies, he gets bigger. Okay. Um, once he gets beyond a certain size, I'm going to struggle. In a way, this deck is kind of a mega version, an all-in version of my deck. And once the guys get above a certain size, I can't remove them anymore. I don't have uh, any white or black ways of removing anything. I have to burn stuff. So the question is, should I burn this guy now or develop? I, I think I develop. Okay, that's a decent pickup. So, Goyf is very meaningful. He's going to immediately gain, gain me some life. I don't think I need Bolt. Oh, well, I didn't even see that, so yeah, they're four fives now. This is correct because there's no there's no excuse is interesting but there's no guarantee of um, drawing land next turn so tap out for a two two and then I look just really silly on turn three with just one lightning bolt whereas this four five goif is a problem that's not what you want to see when you're him yeah I think we can just begin racing. Very good shape now. He can't play two three powered creatures on turn three. That relic's really making a difference. Speaking of which, if he has four of them in his sideboard, it could be a problem. Goyfs are getting smaller. So I'll still be a 3-4 on the swing. And I then respond with Bolt. I think this is still okay to be aggressive. Mm. He's not going to eat his own that's interesting. Don't want him to untap, so force the issue here. Oh. Um, but I haven't played a land yet. So, he is going to die. Red source. We'll make it a stomping ground. I do have to go down to 12, which is annoying. Oh, I can't target him. Sorry, that's right. I can't target him. You fool, man, you fool. Right, so the graveyard is going to get eaten. Um, although, if he spends all his mana doing that, it's probably not that bad. So do I want an ooze of my own? Or do I just want to make a huge hex drinker that can't be blocked? Oh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can bolt him. No, I can't bolt him until he untaps. And he can eat. How many creatures are there? He can only eat one creature at the moment. So he can only become a 3-3. Three, three. So I think I'm actually going to go Hex Drinker and try to bolt him, but I just don't know when in the turn I'm going to bolt him.
Nie. Mutagenic. Oh, it's when something dies as well. That's interesting. Ah, so if he plays a 3-3... Three, three, yeah, so if he has a 3... Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, they become quite unmanageable quite quickly. So are we racing? We are. Um, could chump, and then he has to chump. Oh, well, he hasn't played a land yet. So he could have a pump spell up his sleeve. Well, yeah. If he had a pump spell up his sleeve, he'd want to use it now, right? Like, it's aspect of the Hydra would give plus four, plus four. So maybe not, maybe not. Maybe he's going to play a forest and hold up aspect. Um, if I go to six, I untap. Having said that, I could I could have lethal, right? Like if I just if I level up my hex drinker to a four four. Like what how can he stop himself from dying? Land relic would work here? No, no, it wouldn't, because you can't activate Relic. How do I lose from here? I assume there's a way I lose. One. Might be a safer way for me to do this, actually. I might just be able to... Swing with both goifs and then bolt. Probably what I should have done. Is it too late to do that? What else can he do? How do I lose? He has to have a flash. I, I don't understand how I can lose from doing this. So if I lose from here, this game, I mean, I'll just have to put the game down for a while. Okay. Very hard to figure out what's going on there. Um, yeah, our sideboard is not designed to uh,
remove really beefy mid-range creatures. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now boys are supposed to be uh, the biggest thing in town, uh, which isn't the case. So this is a really boring hand. Uh, keep it. Just need some green mana and it wouldn't be too bad. Um, Huntmaster I think is actually okay. Sinkhole's good. Tracker I think is good. Drop Pax Drinker. He's more valuable on turn one really than turn four in this matchup. Okay, that's bad for us. Ooh. Okay. Mm, Leak is fantastic against this guy. Just need a green source and we're actually in okay shape. Five mana, Leak might not matter. I think it's worth it to vault. Um. Or is it? It's just that he's got, yeah, I think it is worth it to bump because Leak is going to get a lot worse as the game goes on. Two damage might be relevant. If he saves it, that's fine. Plus X, plus X, oh. Yeah, okay. It's not that impressive really, is it? So if I get a green source, surely it's not a green source, but it's not. Yeah, so there's a question here. What five drop can he? Sorry, if he draws a nasty three drop, what what are the nasty two drops that I don't want to see? That thing that gets a hexproof counter, maybe. Can't I respond to the? Barkhide. No, I can't. So if he casts, Barkhide. I'll be disappointed. But that's the only card I don't want to see. Any other two drop can be bolted. And if you have another land, so Leak and Bolt are both starting to look worse and worse. No, come on, draw some gas here that I can leak. Experiment one can't be leaked. That can be leaked.
That's a really good card to leak, obviously, as well, rather than burn. Right, experiment one. It's going to be swinging as a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, so if I can draw a green source. Even when I do, though... Fine, fine, there you go. Oh, okay, well, I've got my wish. So, what should I do? Bolt Denial, they're no good. I think my tireless tracker doesn't seem very good. Hmm. Denial is useless. Tracker. Tracker could be relevant. Like if I top deck a um, land, can play the land, become a 4 3, stubborn is switched on, and I'm a relevant blocker at 4 3, I think. You know, I'm a tra we trade. Yeah, no, it's just uh, this matchup is is not in our favour. I don't think. Uh, land can't be what he wanted. Yeah. Feels like a trade, right? Rancor goes back to his hand. I still take three damage. What's my alternative here? I can go to seven, untap. If I draw a land, He, he, he plays the Rancor onto one of his Hierarchs, I think. If I don't draw a land, I've just got an idiotic 3-2. I kind of thought he would have uh, played. Oh, I, I think it would be worth rancoring there. So I have a three, four. Yep. Okay, it wasn't a terrible draw. Really want to get to Huntmaster ideally. Oh, he's looking for shield. He does not find shield. And I go back up to a three four. Hmm. Okay, well. I hear what you're saying. You're basically saying it's not over. It's 
going to attack as a 4 3. Sinkhole actually makes my Tarmogoyf a 4 5. No, it doesn't. Full of garbage. If he draws just a land, then I can trade with the Avatar, with the Tarmogoyf, and transform. And once I transform, I'm going to try to win the game by transforming. I'm going to block with the Goyf no matter what, and if he has a trick, he has a trick. And then I'm going to sink hole in the aftermath. Interesting game. What'd you get? Come on. It's like, you know, it's actually not amazing. He played a spell. Ooh. Tempted though to do nothing so that I can transform. Yeah, transform and then stop in denial. He'll be attacking as a 3 2. And I'll have Ferocious. That's the Huntmaster is amazing here. Ravager. Um, definitely this. And now I have Stubborn. In case you want to go some gigantic thing. Another one of them, yeah, sure. In fact, if I sinkhole, he'll transform back. If a player casts two or more spells, okay, it's got to be me, so no. Coifage. Um, do I want to swing? And then he'll have two, three twos. I will have used my sinkhole as a combat trick. Then I play the Goyf, and I transform back into a man, make another wolf token. That seems okay. Except I can't do that because the sinkhole will use all my graveyard. So we can't do that. I think this just plays it, play it plays itself out. Turn back into a man. Get a wolf.
Sorry, folks, that was just uh, kids. Kids doing stuff. <laughs> All right. Post combat now. I've got four minutes left on the clock. Uh, passing the turn. Thinking about sinkholing the uh, good ship Steel Leaf. And maybe just offering a trade with the wolf. Something like that. Stubborn is up, but if we sinkhole, uh, it won't be. So I kind of feel actually like holding up stubborn. Um, maybe chumping here. And then we'll... Oh, <laughs> he can't block that, right. Um, he has two cards in hand, and I only have one stop and denial up. So we might want to actually block like this. And then hope to stop and denial. He needs exactly aspect. Oh, no. Oh, well, now he's dead. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Game over. So, we did good. One, two, three, four, five. Tough game though. Feels like a tough um, matchup. Interesting one. Anyway, on to the next one.